Howdy there folks and welcome into today's video. I hope you guys are doing great out there as always. Doing a little bit of a different video here today, talking big picture. Sometimes I hear folks, you know, like want to hear about my goals, some of those sorts of things on, on a financial front at least. And so uh, we're going to talk big, big picture today. My plan is to uh, hopefully become a billionaire someday, um, you know, and how I get there essentially. Like how does this actually happen, right? So if I view the last 10 plus years of my life, right? It you know started with poverty obviously, and then we just kept investing, kept investing, kept building, and my focus has really just always, almost always been on growth for the last ten plus years, and obviously that's helped us get to a stage now where you know I I don't have to do anything for the rest of my life. Like literally, if I just want to go chill on a beach, I can go chill on a beach or something, right? Now for me personally, that's not, that's not that doesn't sound fun. I'll just be straight up. Like that doesn't sound fun in respect. Like if somebody else got to, you know, this this sort of level and they're like, you know, I'm I'm done. I'm like ready to dip and, and go, you know, retire for the rest of my life. Like respect. You know, I think it really comes down to like what do you enjoy most in life? Personally, I love working. I love uh, the game of money and climbing that that wealth pyramid and things like that. I think it's fun. Um, and I love bringing value to people. And I love being of value, right? And if I just go sit at the beach all day and look at the ocean waves, I, I mean, I don't honestly feel like I'm being of, of value, right? I might be relaxing, that's cool. Uh, if I just play video games all day that, you know, I can't even like comprehend that, right? That seems like a step back for me, like going back to high school years, right? So for me, it's always about like, what's the next thing I'm doing? Where, where am I going next in life? And, and those sorts of things. And so my, my kind of perspective on this is, in order for me to go from where I'm at, where uh, I'm, um, you know, at this level and I'm doing very, very well for myself and I don't have to do anything for the rest of my life, but to get to a billionaire, it's definitely, um, it's quite a bit away, right? I mean, we're, we're not, we're not like, uh, that dang close. Let's just put it that way. We're a long way from there. And so in order for me to get there, how do I view this? Well, first thing is I can't have any massive losses, right? If I was to, let's say, lose half of my capital, that would be very, very devastating to, you know, trying to achieve a goal like that of, you know, getting to a place where I have, you know, a billion dollars. If I lose half my capital or something like that, it'd be devastating. So I'm really trying to focus in on companies that I feel are as close to sure bets as possible over the coming years. Um, if you look at a lot of my biggest investments recently, they are not super, super confusing, complicated plays, right? Food company, uh, that's growing massively. Uh, retailer, right? Pharmacy company. We think about a gaming and streaming company. Uh, we think about obviously the planet would be up there because I own that in like almost every single account. But a lot of these companies are not necessarily the craziest ideas, right? I'm not investing in, in a space company. I'm not investing in a nickel, a company, right? That it's like, you know, they went IPO and then it was like, they were supposed to do this and that and then they, they never really did anything, right? So I'm not getting into those sorts of plays because those sorts of plays could be a disaster, right? Sometimes they can go right and you can make a fortune and a lot of times they don't go right, right? And you lose a fortune. And in the game that I'm trying to play, where I'm trying to become a billionaire, like, you know, I'm not getting there if I lose half my capital, right? Or if I lose 70% of my capital or something like that. So I'm trying to bet on as sure of things as possible over the coming years. Now, with that being said, I'm trying to also bet on stocks that are essentially in a position that I believe are going to grow substantially. And although I might have a thought that a stock should 5x or 10x over the next 5, 10 years for various reasons, right? That I, I look at that from the same token and I say, you know, what are the chances a stock loses me money over the next three years, five years? Also, what are the chances it maybe only three X's or four X's or something like that? And I'm trying to get myself positioned in stocks that even if the best cases, you know, scenarios don't play out, right? Like the stock doesn't 10 X or five X over the next five, 10 years that I'm very extremely confident that it can at least three X, right? Or four X because I've got to continue to grow. I'm not becoming a billionaire if I don't continue to grow, right? So that's kind of my first thought process around stocks, okay? Now let's talk about income. So obviously, you know, 
YouTube pays decent, but YouTube's not getting you to become a billionaire. Maybe maybe Mr. Beast or something like that, right? Uh, but not with my type of content, which is obviously very stock market heavy. That's a very niche market, right? So my day job, if you want to call it that, I'm making YouTube videos. That's not going to get me there, right? And I'm trying to provide as much value to folks in the short term as possible. But obviously, there's going to be a day where I, I you know, this just isn't part of my day, right? You recording a YouTube video and going out, you know, and filming a whiteboard video and things like that. So for now, I'm trying to give people as much value as possible. And I want to see as many of you guys reach six figures, seven figures, eight figures in the stock market as possible. And um, obviously, I'll keep up my channels, you know, long after I'm gone. And those videos will be able to be viewed by, you know, future generations and things like that. But I can't keep doing this forever, right? Because it just doesn't pay well enough. Like, you know, it's cool and I enjoy it. And I'm glad a lot of people get a lot of value out of it. But it's just not, um, it's just not scalable enough to get me to my type of goals, right? Uh, let's talk about the private stock group. So the private stock group, you know, a lot of people think like maybe my grand vision is with the, the private stock group to get that to 10,000, you know, in the community or 20,000 or something like that. No, actually, no, that's not my focus either. I want everybody in the, the private stock group and uh, who's going through group, group coaching, the growth sessions and things like that. I want them to all get the most value as possible and, and uh, hopefully as many of those folks achieve six figures, seven figures, eight figures as possible. Um, and I want to give them the blueprint and the game plan on how to get there and um you know step by step but at the same time like no my goal is to not like grow that into some huge thing that's also not a very scalable business it's just not it's it's a it's a cool side piece and i'm glad i can provide that for people and give them a ton of value in there and we've had people build great friendships out of that i've built personally great friendship ships out of the, the private stock group with some of the seven figure investors and some of the coaches and things like that and so that's been amazing and the connections i built off of uh you know having the private stock group and things like that like you know getting connected with people i never thought possible right and investors that you know you realize man you're not the only good investor in the world there's a lot of them and i've been fortunate to that but at the same time that's not really you know enough of a scalable thing to get me there right and so from a business standpoint or income perspective it's really about growing things that are truly scalable and bring crazy value to people right the, the you know for instance the private stock group is not an easy sell because if you just hear about that right you're like uh you know what's a big deal first you got to kind of be bought into me right you got to know that i'm the truth right and for you guys that watch my content you know day in and day out year in and year out you know i'm the truth you see the stocks and you know the chances we lose money very slim and the chances we make a whole lot of money very high and that proof is in, is in the pudding like look at look at the past five years of content and look at the stocks i've been buying look at the public count like you know, it speaks for itself, right? But that's if you come across my content. If you don't come across my content, then, you know, like, why are you going to join the private stock group? Like, who's this Jeremy guy? Like, what's the big deal with him? You know, it's like, you know, you're not a believer, right? So that's not scalable. It's just not. So if I think about like how I get to the next level business wise, it has to be something that is so great that people want to tell other people and it gets to a stage where it can build upon itself. It doesn't need me making YouTube videos about it to give a shout out to something like that, right? It doesn't need people to believe in me personally, right? It needs to be able to stand on its own two feet and just be a beast in itself, right? And so if I think about things that can get there, it's really around like apps and websites and bringing people crazy value with some of those products. And so what I've really been focusing on recently from kind of a business perspective is things like the Hungry Bowl, obviously, which is an app, which doesn't make us literally a dime right now. And I've stuck hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars into that, right? And it's obviously a, a big success. And um, I, I'm hoping it becomes obviously a lot bigger success over time. And the thing I'm focusing on that is 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 really customer first. First off, it's a free app. And we, we had thoughts of like, should we charge for it? Should we have upsells and things like that for the app? And I made the decision, nope, nothing. Everything literally is gonna be free in the app. You wanna see SEC reports? Free. You wanna listen to earnings call right inside the app? Free. You wanna do this? You wanna do, like everything free, 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 right? And how we can make money over time is obviously we can have uh, potentially affiliate set up. We can have uh, sponsorships for like the newsletter, things like that. So there's definitely ways to monetize, but I don't want anything where we're taking money from the people that are using the app, essentially. I don't want anything like that, right? You know, advertisers for stories, for newsletters, things like that. Cool. 
But anything where we're taking money directly from the people that are using the app, that's something I don't want for that particular project. And if I look at something like that, that's a scalable opportunity where I can see you know, hundreds of thousands of people using that app in the future, if not millions of people, right? Right now, we've already achieved over 30,000 users on the app already, right? Which is a, a massive, massive success. And um, if I look at the team, I'm very proud of the team we've been building out on the software side, on the newsletter side, on the content side, because we got a lot more content coming and future features. And the great thing is I've been in the stock market now for over a decade. And um, I, I know what folks are looking for in the finance community. And uh, I, I kind of, I'm like, let's just make this happen. And I'm really taking like a, a Steve Jobs type approach from the way I view it. Because a Steve Jobs, uh, there's a there's a great video of Steve Jobs that always stuck with me. And he said, usually uh, how a lot of companies want to do it is they want to say, okay, what type of tech can we do? And let's try to you know build around that tech rather than building around the the, the client first, the customer, right? And the way I'm trying to go is is very much around the the Steve Jobs approach, which is like you know we're going to build everything around the customer. We'll figure out the tech and how to get here. But here's what I want it to do. Here's exactly why I want SEC reports and, and here and here's where I want them and here's how I want it, how easy I want it to be and things like that, rather than like. Oh, you know, this is our tech. Let's try to build around that. So I'm really taking a client perspective and like putting myself in the shoes of somebody that uses this app and what is the ultimate app for me. And we have a lot of stuff coming over the next six, 12, nine, you know, 18 months that, you know, is just some big game changing stuff when it comes to that. Uh, I'm thinking about, uh, well, I'm not thinking about, we're already building it, uh, a high end software product that will be uh, something that people have to pay money for essentially that is going to be. I can't talk much about it, man, because I, I want it when we launch it, I want it to be properly launched. But essentially, it's going to be unparalleled product in the stock market that is going to give you more information to make your investment decisions than any product out there and buy a lot. And I can't really get into the details, but that's another scalable business that's going to compete in the high end space. That's not a product that's going to have hundreds of thousands of people using it or millions of people using it, right? The Hungry Bull over the coming years, yeah, I can absolutely see hundreds of thousands or millions of people using that, right? This particular website I'm talking about, this is not something that, that you know, hundreds of thousands or millions of people are going to use. It's going to be more of a niche product, but it's going to be in the high end space. And I feel like it's going to be the type of product that if you're serious about stock market investing, you're going to, there's no way you're not going to be able to have this product. And if you go away from the product, you're going to feel like you just went down. And um, because it's that great of a product and it gives you so much more information than you can get literally anybody any anywhere else. And the thing I'm trying to do with that as well is build it out in a way that is as, as easy to use from the, the customer standpoint as possible. And, um, and so that's kind of the way I'm thinking. And so, you know, if we're thinking about like, how do I become a billionaire? I've got to not lose a lot of money. I got to continue to pick great stocks, right? That are going to go up 2X, 3X, 4X, 5X over time, right? And if I can get in those 10X type winners every once in a while, like obviously, you know, Tesla was for us. Whew, you know, that's going to help get there a lot faster, right? And then if I think about, you know, from the standpoint of creating products and services that are so great that people want to tell other people about them because they're that flip and flapjack and great, right? Um, that's big stuff. And I'm, um, uh, you know, thankful that I've been able to stay hungry this long and not get complacent. I'm also thankful I had the type of capital to put into projects and you know, without even knowing something is, you know, is it going to be a success? I put hundreds of thousands of dollars into these things, right? Without any VC capital, I am the VC, right? And um, I'm very fortunate to be in that position. I can tell you if it wasn't for the stock market, I wouldn't be in that position, right? So no different than back when I started my real estate marketing company many, many years ago, right? The only reason, where did I pull that money out of? Out of my stock market accounts because I had the money in there, right? And I was like, hey, you know, I need 5K, 10K, whatever it was, start that business. And I got it up and rolling, right? So... That's that's kind of me, you know, I, I usually, you know, this is kind of a different type of video, but I know some people will enjoy this and get inspiration from it and will enjoy me kind of um, sharing my perspective on this and how I become a billionaire. And um, yeah, we'll see, you know, obviously at the end of the day that you can talk a lot, but it comes down to execution. That's the thing I found, like, you know, I, I can say this, I can say that, but at the end of the day, it's going to come down to the execution and how well we do um, and how hard we work and um, how smart we work. 
that's what it will come down to. The success will be predicated upon those things. And uh, much love as always, guys, and have a great day. Uh, hope you enjoyed a video like this, a little something different. Anyways, peace.